is up everybody i'm jay dca adventure back again with another cryptocurrency market update if you love our content please like subscribe smash that bell for notifications this is not financial advice at all trading is very risky so uh, do your own research uh, you know make sure that you're you got a good trading plan you got your head screwed on straight uh, if you're tired of losing money then you guys need to get over to the DCA Discord. Join our Patreon group. Link for all of this will be in the description. Uh, join my tier trading with a view, and by doing so, we're gonna give you access uh, to some trading tools that are really gonna give you a helpful edge against the market. It's gonna help you make educated decisions on, on what to trade and when to trade. Also, you're gonna get access to the private channel in the Discord where we are posting market signals uh, for Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, you know, it just depends on, on what's good and what I'm looking at. Also, we have trading bots, too, that you will get access to as well. Uh, brought to you by my buddy Astro Park. And they are also making trades on all different kinds of crypto assets. So get in the Patreon group. Get access to all that stuff. We'll help you out. We'll teach you what to do. We'll teach you how to spot low risk trades. Teach you, get you a good uh, base built on your journey of trading and uh, I'm also on trading view where I do all my charting so go sign up for trading view if you want access to any of our tools you have to have a trading uh, trading view account so you can get a free one it will work and I'm trading over at Bybit Femex uh, those are leverage trading exchanges you guys can sign up to those using my link and you will get a deposit bonus and you will get cheaper trading fees so that's a very good deal. Uh, any, anytime you get cheaper trading fees, that's awesome. Uh, shout out to HyperTrader. I've been trading all my altcoins over there. They have a great trading terminal. Uh, they have it where you can link multiple exchanges. You can chart multiple different assets and trade multiple assets all at the same time at one place. So go over, check out HyperTrader, and... Uh, <coughs> sign up to it the features on there are really really sweet they're always updating too they're always making changes and, and and doing good things so shout out to you guys i appreciate you very much also go over to crypto mentors discord uh, over there we have signal channel we have bot channels and we have hundreds of different trading tools and we can also make you a custom trading tool tailored to your trading style and that's super badass because not everybody trades the same. Uh, everybody, you know, has a little bit of a different way they do things. So uh, go over there and check us out. Join. There's a lot of good free information over there too. So uh, you can't you can't miss that. And guys, sponsor of DCA is DogeWord.com. So if you want some sweet cryptocurrency swag or merchandise, you need to go over to DogeWord.com. Moving right over to Coin Gecko. So what's up, guys? I mean, do you think that uh, we're going down? Bitcoin's going down. Altcoin's going down. What is happening? Uh, are we panic selling? Are we panic buying? What is going on? Uh, let me know in the live chat right now what you are doing, what you're trading, what you're holding. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. You're probably seeing a bunch of thumbnails that Bitcoin's gonna crash and and all kinds of different stuff, and altcoins are gonna crash and and you may think because of this drop we just had that everything's crashing, but it is not, guys. Chill out. We're going to look at the charts. Uh, we're going to see what, what we're looking at, what is going to have to happen to make uh, the market bearish. And what do we need to happen to keep it bullish? So we'll get into that and see what is going on. Um, but over on CoinGecko, you guys are going to see we got some red today. Totally natural. You know, we can't have these assets going straight up all the time. So these red days are good. These are buying days. Uh, not quite the big drop yet that I was hoping for. Still looking for a 20, 30% drop on Bitcoin. Uh, we're going to look at the Bitcoin uh, dominance chart. And we're also going to look at crypto or altcoin uh, market cap, uh, excluding Bitcoin. So we're just going to be looking at the altcoins. But uh, Bitcoin, 
we're down 7.4 percent in the last week and we're down 2.8 for the last 24 hours ethereum is down 17.2 percent down 6.5 in the last 24 hours down at one thousand five hundred thirteen dollars so bitcoin's at four forty eight thousand two hundred forty three uh, I'll, we'll get into it. I, I, I think I think we might need to drop a little bit more and drop again. Uh, it would still be very bullish in my opinion, even if we were to drop. And we're going to talk about the levels on where uh, where it's not good, where we don't want to see it drop, and, and where we want to see it bounce. So, Binance Coin uh, still up 50.4% in the last week, down 3.7% in the last day. $243. I mean, it was up over $300 at one point. So, uh, super awesome. And I just seen that one inch did a thing and they integrated it into the Binance wallet. So, that might be something to look into, you guys. Uh, not Again, not financial advice. Cardano, it's still up 24.6% in the last week, up 4.5% in the last day. Uh, so, it's coming in at $1.10, kicking ass. Wish I would have held it. Polkadot. It's doing pretty good, 2.1% for the last week, down 3.6 in the last day, coming in at $32.24. Uh, XRP actually bumped back up there to $0.44, cents, down 15.3 for the last week, down 4.7% for the last day. Chainlink's still sitting at $25, man, but it's down 19.1% for the last week and down 8.3 in the last day. So uh, I do like Chainlink, I like Stellar. Uniswap's up to $24, 14.3% for the week, down 3.9% for the last day. Stellar coming in down at 20, 20.4% uh, and down 3.4% for the last day. So on a lot of these altcoins that you're seeing, these 20, these 30% drops, uh, that's usually when I'm looking at buying, especially if we are at a very critical level on the chart. If we're, if we're sitting at a support area, if we're sitting... Uh, right at a resistance area, you know, that's that's where you want to be doing your buying and selling when they're big areas. You don't trading macro and trading uh, larger time frame trades are easier when you're just starting out. You don't have to trade as much. You don't have to look at the charts as much. It gives you time to learn TA and to draw lines and patterns. And but uh, I think it's perfect. I think this is what we want to see. I'd like to see Bitcoin drop. 20 30 percent and get a nice buy-in uh, so you can see it's just a, a lot of red we get a couple greens here and there a lot of stable coins are green but uh, let's just jump over here to the total market cap of altcoins excluding Bitcoin so Bitcoin is not calculated into this uh, this is a one month chart as you can see we are at an all-time high with the total uh, market cap of altcoins and 705 billion dollars right now is the high uh, but you can see back here august uh, 1st of 20 we had the bear or the bullish cross the 21 month moving average crossing that 50 month moving average so if you had this dca script you were in our patreon group you would have got that cross right there and you would have been able to take a long position here. Uh, but I'm just showing you uh, where, what we're looking. If we go down to the week on the total altcoin market cap, uh, you guys can see that we did have a nice bullish cross here. We had a golden cross. Well, technically it'd be on a daily, but this is a weekly chart. This is a, a still bullish cross. 50 week cross is at 200 week. Um, Again, you would have went long here, or you would have went long back here when the 21 week crossed both the 50 and 200 week moving averages. Uh, so you would have been getting in uh, back here at eight in the 80s on, on any of the top 100 altcoins, and you would have done very well here. Be uh, it'd be nice to see the altcoin. Uh, market cap kind of reset a little bit we need we need some down days some down weeks uh to you know just get fueled back up to uh, light that rocket and take off so going down to the daily we're hugging that 21 day moving average and it's acting as support and we all know and for you new people every time we test support and resistance moving averages 
um, those areas are gonna get weaker every time we test it so eventually it's gonna fail you can see that we did test it all through here and, and this is uh, you know that's back from the first test was the 11th of January and the last test of the 21 day moving average was February 21st so you know quite a few months in there well one, one month one and a half months in there where we were on that 21 moving average so it would not surprise me to see uh, us fail here at this 21 right around 542 and drop down here to this 50 day moving average around 423 and the reason why I say that it's probably going to do that and why I'd like to see that see it do that is you look over here onto the Bitcoin dominance chart and the Bitcoin dominance chart we're sitting right on the 50 month moving average uh, so you know pretty nice bottomed out uh, little deal here and we could draw a nice channel in here and wait for this breakout but if we go over here onto the weekly and you see the oscillators way down you go back to the monthly that oscillator sitting right at, right at zero damn near so there is a ton of move or a ton of room for bitcoin dominance to move up in the charts uh, looking at some of the altcoin market cap charts you could argue the same fact that you know they look very bullish too and they have room to move up but again, I think that uh, here within the next couple weeks, we're gonna we're gonna get the big run on Bitcoin, where we're gonna possibly make another new all-time high if everything works out as planned. But you can see here, guys, on this monthly chart that we're sitting at zero on the oscillator, and we're at a 50-month moving average, which is huge. You can see that it did act at resistance through here, um, and now we are on top of it. So that moving average is acting as support. And if you were to draw a box. Um, in at that 50 month moving average and we'll start right at the bottom of it and you can see that we do got support all the way through there so it's sitting right at it this is a very critical level right now on the Bitcoin dominance chart if you go over here to the weekly um, it just just crossed the 21 week crossed that 50 week back on the 1st of February um, so this is this is very bullish for the dominance chart although we need to get that break back above these moving averages and we want to see it then close above it I want to show you guys something too we'll go over here in a minute about patterns and what to watch for when you see these patterns and how you can measure the move and by measuring the move, you're going to be able to uh, see where you want to take your profit or, or when you want to enter a short or long, vice versa. You know, it just depends on what you're looking at, what you're doing. Look at the one day Bitcoin dominance chart and we are sitting on that 21 day moving average and it is acting as support. Uh, this Bitcoin dominance daily chart still has not flipped all the way bullish yet as far as how the moving averages are running right now. Uh, we want to see our 21 moving average at purple line above on the very top. And then we want to see the 50 day moving average underneath the 21. And then we want to see the 200 day moving average underneath the 50 day. Um, when the moving averages are like that, uh, then we're going to see some moves, guys, and it's going to get crazy. But on a daily chart, this kind of looks like a head and shoulders pattern. Head and shoulders are a uh, bearish pattern. You can have a head and shoulders pattern and an inverse head and shoulders. But the reason why I'm talking about it now is because it's very visible on the chart. So it's a good example of kind of show you new guys uh, you need to get into patterns you need to start looking at patterns they uh, play a big role in deciding when to trade and when not to trade so or when to be paying attention to the chart when not to be paying attention uh, but on these head and shoulders patterns what you have is a left shoulder you have your head and then your right shoulder and you'll see me post charts all the time and I'll say head and shoulders 
Um, these, I, I don't automatically see them and say, oh my God, head and shoulders bearish for dropping because a lot of times in crypto, you will see these patterns, but they break out to the upside. So you, you want to be very careful when you see these. And if you want to trade this pattern, then you need to really uh, be watching or, or setting your stop losses. Um, I argued with a guy yesterday, tried to tell me he's like, setting stop losses is dumb. You're almost guaranteed to lose money. And then, you know, we got to talking or whatever. Finally, he came out and said that he doesn't leverage trade. He only spot trades. So I, I can kind of see why you don't use a stop loss spot trading. You're not really going to lose a shit ton of money unless it goes to zero, right? I mean, you can lose money, but it's not going to hurt as bad as when you're leverage trading. So when you're leverage trading, you need to always have a stop loss. You shouldn't even enter it unless you know where you're putting your stop and where you know you're going to take profit. General areas of. So... Keep that in mind, guys. Don't be listening to idiots saying, oh, don't use a stop. Don't use a stop. You're guaranteed to lose money. Well, don't put them so tight, number one. Uh, don't enter a, a trade and then you enter a trade at $10,000 and then you put your stop at $9,999. Well, obviously, you're, you're going to get knocked out. You need to give it a cushion so you can, uh, you know, let, let the market play out a little bit. And, and the best way to do that when you're leverage trading is use lower leverage. You know, if you're leverage trading Bitcoin, you want to stay between 5 and 10x. And then when you get super comfortable and you <clears throat> really got a grasp on what you're doing, go 25x. Uh, altcoins, don't don't ever go over 5x, 10x. Uh, I'll trade 10x on altcoins, but it is very risky. So again, be aware of what you're doing. Uh, leverage trading and especially you get into the altcoins you get on ADA or something like that and, and you're running you know 25 50x leverage on that you can get wrecked very quickly and it gives you such a small cushion on your liquidation price so and it, and for you new guys if there if there are new guys here that are interested in leverage trading uh, I have a, a few videos that show how to use Bybit how to use Femex what leverage is what it means uh, basically, your whatever you deposit, you can borrow money from the exchange to trade. Um, so if you put ten dollars in and then you leverage it by ten, now you got a hundred dollars. So it's pretty cool. It's it's good stuff. But like I said, you can you can make a shit ton of money really quick with one trade, and you can lose it all really quick with one trade if you're going in blind and you're just trading to trade. Learn how to spot trade first. Uh, learn the UI of all your stuff, then add leverage later. It's not leverage trading should not be something you first jump into. Um, how we measure these head and shoulders? I got something in my eye. Sorry, guys. Mm. There's a way that we measure these head and shoulders, though, and basically what you want to do is you want to draw a line across your neckline, and the neckline on the head and shoulders is right at the top of where the two shoulders are. So you would draw a line in at the neck. And then you would take your uh, trend line here and you're gonna click right at the middle of that neckline and you're gonna take it up to the very top of the head, the high candle. And once you got that line, you're gonna grab that line and you're gonna take it down here and you're gonna put it, line it up with uh, the bottom here. And that's roughly give you an estimate of what the, the drop could be. And if we look over, that drop puts us right on a bunch of support. So pretty dang close. And if we drew the box in there like you should draw when you're drawing support and resistance, you know, you could come down and say this whole area right here is support. So just a little tidbit you guys should know when looking at patterns, how you should measure your moves out. Um, Nefarious Technology, good buddy, he does a lot of measured moves. So he posts a ton of charts in there with the measurements going all the way up and all the way down and they're very accurate i mean you can save those charts and watch them and it, it hits all of his lines so 
you got to get in the Patreon group, though, if you want to see those. Or, you know, get in the Patreon and he'll teach you how to do it because it's, uh, it's super awesome. There, I, I do it every now and then when I'm doing patterns and stuff, but, I mean, he goes through and he legitimately does. He gets every single support, every single resistance, whether it's huge, whether it's small, whether it's so tiny, it doesn't matter. It's all in there, so you know exactly where. And and that them charts would really benefit you for scalp trading. So uh, kudos to you, Nefarious Technology, for putting those in there for us. So if you see this head and shoulders pattern ever, <clears throat> it can be inverse, so it can be like this. You could have the candles come down like this, then your head, and then your shoulder. And this would be a bullish inverse head and shoulders. And you'd measure it the same way. So you would draw a line across your, your neckline, and then you would measure from the neckline down to the head. Then you would take that line, bring it up to your, your two uh, top points, and that will give you a reference of how high the run, the run should go. Now let's just jump right over to Bitcoin um, slash Coinbase. Now this chart I have drawn on here, this is stuff that was posted in our Patreon group and how we traded it. Um, this was a little channel, um, small little flag on here that we were trading. And I had a couple guys message me in the last couple days and ask me why wouldn't we trade inside the channel? And that's a good question. I always tell people not to trade inside these patterns. Uh, there's too much chop in here. Uh, and as you can see, I mean, you would have got totally wrecked in here if you would have tried to trade at any of this. I mean, yes, it went up to the top, down to the bottom, up to the top, down to the bottom. I mean, you could have timed that up good, but that's just uh, its too reckless. It's not that big of a range to be trading. Uh, you're not getting the full what you would have got trading the breakout and that's what we did in the patreon group we traded this breakout i had the channel drawn in telling everybody to be watching for it we actually took the long position back here on february 17th uh had to close the closing candle above right right at the channel on the top so it did validate as support and then we got we went up again so uh somewhere's in here i took profit I think it was, it was right here at 5,000 or 53,800 and something, I think is where I ended up taking my profit. Uh, but it was a great trade. And we also took another trade on the moving average. So this candle here, I told everybody when we started dropping and I took my long uh, that I entered back here, I took my profit up here. But uh, when we dipped down to this 21 moving average, I had buys down here. So I did get the buy. It was a little above the moving average, but I got the buy. I took that long position and again, rode it back up here to the $53,000 area and took profit again. Uh, and then now I'm pretty much just sitting on my hands waiting. We've got 28 minutes left for this daily candle to close. We want to see this daily candle close above this 21 day moving average because if it doesn't guys then we are probably going to drop down to that 50 day moving average and that is sitting right around the forty thousand dollar area it's at forty yeah forty thousand nine hundred and thirty two uh, we do got decent uh, support that starts down at the 41 42 thousand i've seen a lot of people calling 42 thousand uh, but i think it'll go i think it'll go under 42 if we close below that 21 day guys so uh, be, be watching for that 40,900 is where I think it's gonna possibly land um, looking at the oscillator though we did get a bearish divergence reset this chart we got a bearish divergence and the the momentum wave did cut in to the top of that wave so it printed a top the oscillator printed a top and then boom we did get the drop on that candle uh, VWAP is starting to curl up though. Um, 
we just need we need some time to reset here guys that's why i think it's very possible we test this 50 day moving average very possible we test it so be aware be ready for it and, and hopefully it holds i wouldn't want to see it drop anymore it could drop all the way down to thirty thousand. um that would be like my super mega low um dump and I say that because I don't think it'd go any lower than that, only because Tesla and them guys were buying right around that area. So uh, very iffy, very iffy that it would go down that far. You wouldn't think. Uh, I'm going to clear the chart. want to show you the Bitcoin log growth real quick. Back to the monthly. All right, guys, so we know that we gotta stay above, gotta stay above this line, this middle, this middle line. Um, and so far, so good. Uh, we almost got up there and touched that, that Fibonacci level here. Very, very close. I still think we are on track for a $100,000 Bitcoin. I still think it's in the cards. We got three days, one hour left for the monthly closing candle and if it happens and we're above here that's super bullish for bitcoin uh not we only got one that's closed above it so far i normally like to scream super market cycle when we get the second one but again it's still a pretty big candle pretty big volume in there so very bullish and we're right on track to hitting this top line 96 hopefully by the time we get up there we're going to be right around a hundred thousand a hundred and one thousand dollar bitcoin i think it's super possible um the oscillator is in the overextended on the monthly for bitcoin so take note of this uh this if the uh, if this uh wave stays this height and it doesn't go higher than this one then that's going to be a divergence that's going to be a bearish divergence so be watching for the orange cut in on the blue wave you know twenty thousand dollars down to fourteen thousand two hundred fourteen thousand three hundred is like a major major support area looking on a monthly chart not saying it's going to go down there you guys just telling you what's possible where it would stop um, right around in that area so back down on the daily hopefully this holds up um, and if it doesn't you guys then just be ready to buy have some have some monies down there to buy you could draw your channel in here uh, several different ways that you could draw this kind of like an ascending wedge type pattern and when it gets to the edge of the wedge is usually when it'll something big will happen but yeah you can definitely draw in stuff like this you could draw it just up on here uh, any any support and resistance lines just make sure you have several touches it'd be nice to see Bitcoin break the $58,000, $60,000 area, close at that level, tr get trade in a range, go sideways for a little bit, <clears throat> and then make the next leg up. All right, going to take a look at Ethereum. So on the Ethereum daily, very crucial, very crucial point. 23 minutes, 25 seconds left in the daily close. It's got to close above that 50 day moving average, you guys, or Ethereum is going to dump farther down. Where is it going to go? Where is it going to go? Well, the first area we're probably going to stop at, and it already tested it once with this candle, that wick. But uh, we got support starting at $1,422 down to right around almost. $1,200 so be looking for a $1,200 low on on ethereum we did get a bearish divergence here on the oscillator and you can see that right at the end of the divergence if you went short boom it did get the drop did so not only did you get the divergence that printed there 
but you got the top it printed there with the red dot and then the orange wave cut back into the blue wave and it dumped that 21 day didn't hold up at all on ethereum so as of right now while we are above the 50 day moving average or testing it right now support ethereum is a, is still bullish we are still a bullish chart these are the two main ways that i trade these moving averages you see how the 21's on top of the 50 and the 50 is on top of the 200 that's what we want to see on the daily chart you see how many times you tested the 21 you go long here you take profit jumps up again come down test 21 go long take profit comes down and test it go long take profit come down and test it go long take profit and you do that until it doesn't work boom comes down you try to go long doesn't work but what happens you had your stop loss in there because you listened to your own rules and now it saved you a little bit of money and it ended up dropping to the 50 day moving average where you had your next set of buys you put them a little deep you put your stop loss a little bit deeper boom hit your hit your long position and rode you up you took profit when we made it back up to the 21 day moving average tested as resistance so what we want to see right now on ethereum guys we want to see it close above the 50 and we, we need it to trade in a range we don't want to go underneath that moving average that will not be good be looking for a 1200 low on ethereum and if this area gets broken on ethereum right here then you need to be looking down here guys because this is going to be the next spot next spot so we got you'd have maybe a little hiccup at the 748 but your your biggest area that's really going to hold it is probably right around 660 to 512 dollars so this is an opportunity to buy again guys this opportunity to buy again we do have that 21 day curling down that's not good that's usually pretty bearish uh, we just got to keep an eye on it guys and we're going to trade smart uh, and this is the beauty about leverage trading we can trade both sides of the fence we can make money uh, going up or down uh, I, I typically like to you know if i can help it at all if i'm not trading i like to have it set up to where my asset really isn't losing value because i'm making money both sides of the fence take a look at the weekly Twenty one week moving average is sitting at six hundred and sixteen dollars and the fifty week is sitting at three hundred and thirty seven. Not saying it would fall there, but a good it's looking like a good area of support right around eight hundred dollars down to that twenty one moving average. So anywhere from eight hundred dollars down to four hundred dollars. That seems like a pretty big drop. I'm not saying it's gonna happen guys, I'm just telling you what the chart is showing overextended on the weekly chart you do see that orange wave is starting to cut back into the blue momentum wave um, and it did print a big top here big sell um, just got to keep an eye on it guys like i said we want we want everything to reset we want to be able to buy these low so if you have this dca oscillator um, and you're in the patreon group or you're over in crypto mentors premium channels uh, you guys are going to know what we're looking at when it's time and, and everything's going to be uh, great. Go to Lizardy Litecoin. Uh oh. Ooh, Litecoin on the two week chart just got the 21 moving average crossing over the 50 moving average. That's pretty bullish. It did get a nice little jump there. Uh, is falling back down and it is testing an area of support in between the area it's at right now, right around 180 down to 153. So, or 149. <clears throat> so be looking for that. Be looking for a drop to like 150. You know, maybe a little bit deeper, 148, 147. Uh, but, but I think it'll hold there and uh, overextended on the oscillator uh, on the two week chart if we go over to a monthly chart we are way overextended and what crossed 
21 did cross over the 50 on the monthly charts. That's bullish for, for Litecoin. Not good that we see such a big wick and, and the sellers pushing that right back down. That's not good. Uh, we'd like to see that get back up here and at least close in the $200 area. Overextended on the monthly chart too. Uh, over on the weekly, we're getting ready to see the 50 week cross the 200 week. That's bullish. Uh, hopefully it'll hopefully it'll pump her up. And like I said, guys, we are testing support, and you can see it here on the smaller time frame. Down to around $100. And then you go down to the moving averages. But looking looking on the week, the low would be right around 114. You test that 21 week moving average, you definitely want to trade that even more. But uh, these moving averages are not quite set up yet how we want them to be. We still need that 50 to get over that 200. Then once that happens, then you want to start taking your long positions when we test that 21 moving average. Uh, right now it would be gambling and a little bit riskier taking a trade when we test it now versus if we wait till the moving averages are set up correctly. So keep that in mind guys. I'm pretty much sitting on my hands right now. I'm waiting for the big move to happen. Wait till we get to that important area, uh, at least for Bitcoin. I'm staying level-headed. Uh, I am paying attention to everything though. I am watching stuff. I am messing around with some trading bots and running them on certain things. The daily for Litecoin, we tested the 21 moving average. Well, we dumped, when we got the dump a couple days ago, we dumped down below it and uh, bounced right off the 50 day. So if you'd have taken your long position at the 50 like we do, because the moving averages are set up correctly on the daily chart for Litecoin, uh, you'd have had a nice little position here and you could have exited out anywhere up in there because it did wick back all the way almost up to the 21 day moving average. So now, uh, if you would have stayed in the long, we tested the 21 moving average. Normally I would have taken my profit there because that moving average is acting as resistance and I probably would have tried to take in a short, uh, especially if you wait for this daily candle to close and it closes underneath that moving average. So be looking for a retest again over at the 167.90. And the more times we hit that thing, guys, the weaker it's gonna get and it, it, will, it will eventually uh, fail. So we wanna see it get back above there. It's gotta get back above 196 and it's got to close above that to uh, continue the next leg. But is Litecoin still bullish? The charts uh, say so. The daily chart is saying it's bullish as of right now. But if we go under the 50 and this goes for any asset, not, not so good. Not so good. Take a look at Celsius. a little bit more information there so we did have a bearish cross here guys the 50 crossed under the 21 day moving average uh, now we're pretty much using that 50 day moving average as resistance along with the 21 day moving average on Celsius Celsius chart super bearish on the daily does not look good um, be taking the shorts here at these moving averages or uh, wait until they break above them and close and i say that because the oscillator is heading down to the bottom and if it gets to the bottom here and you see the orange cut into the blue you know it's going to make a break for it and then it's got to close above uh, f at least five dollars and 16 cents for for a day or two before the next leg or it needs to get all the way up past 550 and close uh, before we see it make another move up and these are the classic M patterns that I trade all the time. When we get these little ranges in here, kind of call that Batman or whatever you want to call it, but I always try to trade these double tops. And you can see that there's double tops all the way through it, right? There's double top, there's double top. So I always try to take, you know, take a chance in trading them. Weekly on Celsius. Not quite down to the 21 week moving average. Weekly looks still bullish. 
$3.56 is where the 21 week moving average would sit. And the 50 week is sitting at $1.57, but there is support in both of those areas, so we shall see. Uh, let's look at Cardano. Binance, Dollar, Bitfinex. So the weekly, you guys can see that that orange wave is starting to cut in to the blue momentum wave. Uh, so this might start dropping. This is on a weekly chart for Cardano. 31 cents is that 21 week moving average. And you know, it pretty much traded in a range all the way through there. <clears throat> but if you would have had the DCA script, you would have went long on the 1st of June, 2020. And you would have stayed in that long until you got another cross or whatnot and it just printed a top right there so we'll see if it goes down or not uh, the daily chart still pretty bullish for ADA this is exactly how we want to see the moving averages uh, oscillator it is not in the overextended area so there is room for it to go up and we're probably going to be looking right around uh, 88 cents for a retest uh, that's that's where you're going to be looking to go long and then that 50 day and that's right around 57 cents so we're going to be looking to go long there too as well i go a little bit deeper to take into the account the stop losses of all the 50,000 other traders looking at these areas but all right fellas ladies i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys are trading safe you're trading smart only trading when it's smart to trade and it makes sense to trade you guys want to learn like i said jump into the patreon group we uh we will get you straightened up you can also join crypto mentors we have some pretty cheap packages over there too and uh i will see you guys in a couple hours join us friday for the the live stream and uh that's that's uh that's all i got for tonight fellas so you guys have a good night and i will see you here in a bit.